I'm usually a person who likes to kind of be confrontational with artwork. A woman can be a mother and an artist and make artwork about being pregnant and it should be normal and it should be part of everyday life. And all of it's dealing with maybe the last year of her life and sort of the changes she's gone through from being pregnant to not being pregnant anymore. Each one of the students is of course finding their own pathway and their own journey and to talk to somebody that's trying out multiple paths allows the students to understand that it's okay for them to also try multiple paths. It's very mixed so there's you're not bored by anything because you see embroidery and you see watercolor and pastel even so it's not ever boring and you always kind of have to look closely at it because of the scale. They are about um, my experience of being pregnant and thinking about how things were changing constantly on a daily basis. Um, it just consumes your every thought. When you look in the art books or you look in art magazines, you don't really see that representation of a woman. And I felt um, just by making artwork about that, that it's actually putting it in your face. I see the pregnancy work kind of that's similar. Um, I've babysitted like all my cousins, so I can, I, I have experiences with babies. Becoming a mother um, or be being pregnant was really big part of my life that I couldn't ignore. And we brought in a lot of the students to talk about and talk about the phases of our life and the way Tina's work shifts from phase to phase as she's going through these different phases in her life and about the um, small intricate nature of her work and how experimental that work can be. I love being a professor, that person, that role model, the person that can inspire someone else who was like me. As a Hispanic student, I really like the meaning behind the embroidery works. Um, there's a lot of cultural references to it. Or I feel now that I am that role model for them and I feel like I can show them that you can be a strong woman and you can be this type of a woman and still be, you can be an artist, you can be a mother, you can still keep your last name, you know, those kinds of things. But also just introducing art to students is so amazing. I love that part of the job.